If we now close the access door, the fly cage is escape proof again. The patches look alright and will definitely be sufficient for this season. Hi Dale. Today's mission, repairing the fly screen. The composter model's fly cage has some holes in its fly screen. Mend the holes in order to prevent flies from escaping. Tip, no flies have hatched yet. Okay, let's see. Last time Konrad changed the plumbing of the composter module. This was episode 1 of the ACM sub-series. In this second ACM mission we work on the fly screen. We probably need some patches of fly screen to repair it. The fly cage is located on top of the composter module and houses the black soldier flies once they're hatched. The cage is therefore quite high above ground, so a head-mounted action cam will create the best angle to capture the progress. Let's select the screen as tool. Let's go! There are currently two holes in the bottom section of the fly screen and one in this staircase, so three holes in total. Hole 1 was from the chimney-like pipe connecting the pupate box with the cage, which was too dark for the flies to use. Same goes for hole number 2, where the pipe was passing along. The third hole is from an additional experimental pupate box, which basically acted as a shortcut for the chimney and allowed the hatch flies to crawl from the box into the fly cage. But the flies did not find the exit here, so I just get rid of the box and the axis. Black soldier flies find a mate mid-flight. They approach a potential partner and grab onto them and try to hook up. If successful, they land and mate. To mend the holes, I just use some scrap fly screen mesh, which can easily be glued in place with hot glue. It does not look very pretty, but it does its job. I'm hoping the flies won't lay eggs into the crevasses near the hot glue areas. Last season the flies laid eggs in very strange places, so we will see how it goes. The angled base of the fly cage helps removing the dead flies via a pipe at the bottom of the upside down pyramid. The flies fall into the plumbing as seen in the previous episode and get transported into the fish tank where the goldfish eat them. The adult flies lifespan is about a week. It can be elongated if flies are supplied with water or even sugar water. The flies themselves do not eat. The lower part of the front of the fly cage opens like a door. Some fly screen acts as hinge and the door can lay against the slope to stay open. The opening of the door is wide enough to reach comfortably inside, but it also allows flies to escape easily. It's very helpful that there are no flies yet, so working from the inside of the cage to glue the patches in place makes progress quick. Adding the patches, however, is quite tricky, since the glue needs to squeeze through the mesh, but if pressure is applied to the fly screen, the screen will stick to the nozzle of the hot glue gun. Patience is key here. I apply some glue which holds the patch in place and let it dry. Once it's cured, a second pass remelts the glue and adds some additional material. After a while, the patch is securely in place. The excess mesh can easily be removed with the cutter. I just need to be careful to not cut into the fly screen, which would create another hole and therefore another patch, repeating the entire process. I sometimes use the hot glue gun again to smoothen the edges. A modified net pot acts as lid on the entry hole for the newly hatched flies. If this protection is not in place, flies who grabbed a mate might fall into the gap and end up in the staircase section. You would be surprised how often this happens. If we now close the access door, the fly cage is escape proof again. The patches look alright and will definitely be sufficient for this season. This concludes today's mission. Subscribe for the next episode and leave some feedback in the comments below. You could also check out this video. Or if it's your birthday, maybe this one. Hi Dale.